Hi everybody, my name is Latoya Stone. Um, I am a clinical psychologist by profession and I have been asked by Greg to share a few tips um, on how everybody can maintain their sanity during this lockdown. Um, I am sitting outside literally in my backyard um, so if there is a bit of noise in terms of birds or whatever please excuse me but this is literally like my space where I actually can keep sane um, so yeah here goes I hope that everybody finds these tips useful um, what I did do was I um, searched a bit online at a few articles and I took all of the ones I found common in each article so um, I'm going to share some of those tips and then I also added like um, two or three of my own so I hope that everybody finds this useful so it's just nine so bear with me um, the first tip is <laughs> stick to a routine so this is very 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 important um, as best as you can and as far as you can try and stick to a routine I know that it's difficult because you know it's not like you're waking up and going to work but try and maintain your sense of everyday routine as best as you can at home so even if you have to wake up a little later and you need more rest that's okay but still try and wake up at the same time every morning and structure your day so if you are able to work from home like a lot of people can um, you know schedule from so and so time to whatever time that's the time you'll be working schedule lunch breaks um, and then also schedule like a knockoff time for when you will be finishing work and then getting a chance to spend with family I think it's very important if you aren't able to um, sort of work from home like your work is um, relying well your work needs to be office bound sorry um, then I think schedule some activities for you to do um, whether it has been putting off on doing certain things it's okay whether it's things around the house like washing or whatever because most of us have to clean our own homes now do our own washing schedule time for that and then um, also schedule a time for when you're done with work and you have to spend time with family but I think keeping a routine sort of gives you something to look forward to as well so if you know that you're going to finish work in two or three hours from now that gives you something to look forward to like okay now i can put my feet up at six or i can spend time with my family whatever it may be so sticking to a routine i find that works really really well um the second tip i would have is keep in touch with family and friends you know maintain um contact maintain that connectedness so even if we aren't physically near each other also schedule time to chat with them whether it's on whatsapp or facebook or whatever social media um, app you have but also if you can video call them um, even if you also dedicate a time like every night at 8 or every night at 6 30 you're going to video call your family and your friends do that because we all still need that sense of connectedness um, I think it really just helps what I've also um, seen now people are having sort of net Netflix watch parties so basically it's an extension of um, Chrome it's a Chrome extension and people can actually then watch a movie at the same time and it feels like okay even though you're not physically near each other you're all able to sort of watch the movie at the same time um, and you can even like chat to each other about the movie um, during the movie but if you're like me and you don't like much chatting during movies then you can just like do it separately you can video call them separately and watch Netflix separately but I think people are being very um, what's the word I'm looking for creative very creative right now and they're also discovering a lot of ways to keep in touch whether it's conference calls on zoom um, even on your whatsapp video calls you can call more than one person at the same time try and do that but I think conversing and keeping that sort of um, human connectedness um, that's very very important okay tip number three keep your brain busy um, you know that you tend to sort of lose your mind if you feel like I've been doing nothing for the last few days. I'm bored. All I'm doing is watching TV. Sorry if you hear noise. It's my neighbor's kids. They're busy. But anyway, um, yeah, if you hear any noise, um, 
noise you see now i've lost my train of thought <laughs> sorry um if um you feel like you really are bored and there's this sense of boredom then it really probably means that you haven't been keeping busy so try and keep busy um according to kaya Langa, there's no better time than now to sort of form new habits what he wants to do is write a book but i mean not everybody wants to write a book right but if there is something that you know you've been wanting to do um and keeping it off or not having time for it then probably now is the best time to do it and to keep your brain busy i know my cousin harriet has started knitting again she's really like good at it um so she's like knitting beanies and stuff and that sort of keeps you busy and keeps the mind occupied um i for one have no excuse anymore to delay my research so i've been trying to keep busy um in between work by you know doing a bit of research work on my proposal and that also sort of keeps the brain active and working um so whatever it is try and keep your brain busy if it's you want to learn a new language then you can even do that so that's number three keep your brain busy number four stay active so how many times have we said i don't have time to exercise what's your excuse now now we literally have no excuse we literally have all the time in the world right now to keep busy in the form of staying active so yeah we can't go to the gym but there are so many uh, fitness apps right now um i have a female fitness app and literally it takes me like 15 20 minutes at the most and i feel like i've had like a really intense cardio workout so if you're not the fittest person like i am then you know try and download an app do a quick workout um but still keep you know active and keep busy a healthy body healthy mind so that's tip number four then number five here's where the psychologist in me comes out <sighs> sorry guys for the noise <laughs> but anyway um so tip number five is acknowledging your feelings okay so um i know this is also a difficult time especially if you've had something for example traumatic happen whether it was the loss of a loved one um, or anything traumatic that has recently happened and that you can't like sort of or you've been struggling to deal with now's the time to try and um, acknowledge your feelings you have to be sort of in a space of yeah I think <sighs> confrontation for lack of a better word but I mean we have nowhere to run at the moment so what better time than now to confront what it is we're feeling and I know it's easier said than done but I do think like all the time to yourself right now and the alone time sort of forces you to acknowledge um, things that you have been struggling with and maybe now is the perfect time to start um, dealing with those feelings so even it doesn't you know mean that you have to go to therapy or anything but if you can just find someone trustworthy that you can share um you know your struggles with or write it down or whatever it is um but i think that it is also a sensitive time for everybody who especially has been going through a difficult time where you have a lot of time to spend with your thoughts and um you know all of those emotions can sort of just come at you um, and it can be very overwhelming so I feel that if you don't acknowledge it and you don't try and deal with it um, you know or if you try and suppress it it might just sort of come out um, in a negative way later on or um, you know what could also happen is luckily we don't have um, too much access to alcohol um, right now but we can also develop unhealthy coping um, mechanisms and we really don't want that you know we don't want a suppression of emotions or um, you know just acting like we're tough and we're fine but later on sort of it's just really a volcano waiting to erupt so i would say you know acknowledge whatever it is you guys are feeling in this time um try and deal with it try and speak to a friend but also if if you are going to speak to a friend um also just check in with them first whether they are in the the best emotional space or state to um hear what you have to say and for you to offload because sometimes i mean we're all going through a tough time in this period but sometimes people aren't necessarily in the best space to hear what you have to say
so yeah always just be cognizant of you know someone else in this moment um if you want to offload on them but make sure that they are in the right emotional state as well and that you're not overwhelming them in the process okay we're almost done we're on point number six of nine um so number six is be mindful i think you know all of us are guilty of this we tend to worry we worry about tomorrow we worry about what the state of our country or our world will be in three or six months from now and if we can practice mindfulness which is literally just being present present in the moment focusing on the moment i think it will be less anxiety provoking for us because if you're so concerned about like what's going to happen next week or next month or next year you know we we become so anxious and we actually forget to live in the moment so i think being mindful um being aware of the year and now and being fully present in the year and now is actually going to help it's going to help us not only stay sane but also be less anxious you know in this process so if for example you're having a moment with your family and it's something funny and you're laughing sort of fully immerse yourself in that fully immerse yourself in whatever moment it is you're living now you know if you are in the bath in the morning and sort of you're soaking in the bath fully immerse yourself in that and try not to think about anything else try not to think about an hour from now or a week from now just sort of fully immerse yourself in the here and now and be mindful um later on i think the second last point is um gratitude but i'll explain that now but i think being mindful will also help us be grateful you know for everything we have we have um point number seven is don't forget to have fun um so with fewer obligations right now you know less worrying about rushing to work being to being at work on time um you know deadlines at work we actually have a lot more time on our hands to have fun um so i have recently discovered tiktok like i think everybody on my facebook who follows me um is aware of it and is probably annoyed by now with all my tiktoks but that is sort of my innocent way of having fun um what my lockdown buddies um two of my besties and i are also really enjoying um during this lockdown is um the channel o lockdown house parties so it's every friday and saturday from six till midnight we literally like sort of wait for it um it's really like nice music they play we sing we dance we really have fun in that moment i've seen on social media some people actually dress up like they are going out to a club um, and they enjoy the music um, from the the lockdown house parties so whatever you know you find fun um, do more of that you know um, have fun I think if ever there was a time for us to have fun it is probably now because after this all blows over sort of there's a lot of trying to get back to normal I guess um, but in the process, there's also going to be a lot of work that needs to be put in. When we get back to the offices, it's um, backlogs, it's trying to catch up um, and the workload will just increase. So you won't have much time for fun probably then. So try and have fun, as much fun as you can. Okay. And then the second last point is be grateful. Um, I think it's easy to complain now in this time. Um, there's a lot to complain about, you know, but I think... We also have a lot to be grateful for um, and I think each day try and be aware of what it is you're grateful for you know um, for example do you have a roof over your head you have food to eat um, you're healthy you're safe your family members are safe your loved ones are safe um, one of my little um, things that I enjoy and that I have to be grateful for is sort of moments outside having a cup of coffee listening to the birds singing just sort of taking in a lot of fresh air unpolluted air in this time um, and really just being grateful for those little moments um, so I think we really have a lot to be grateful for if I can give a tip perhaps um, write it down each day just like one thing you're grateful for or if you have those glass and um, those mason jars um you know use that um on a piece of paper like each day write what you're grateful for toss it in the mason jar and at the end of lockdown like open that jar and actually see like what it is you have to be grateful for and i think in most cases it's things that we take for granted on an everyday basis so um 
maybe that also will give us a bit of perspective you know um so again going back to being mindful in order for us to realize what we're grateful for we also have to be mindful and sort of fully live each moment um so maybe you can try and do that and then you know let us know or let me know like some of the things you have to be grateful for after this lockdown period and then the last thing isn't necessarily a tip but it's just to let everybody know as well again please stay home guys um if you know i know that staying home is really what's causing frustration and what is the cause of this video today but if it's not necessary for you to leave the house please don't leave the house um please just go get essentials and come back home and when you do go out maintain your social distance wear your masks if you have to but please try and do everything as far as possible online if you can um I'm an essential worker so I still have to work um, but I literally leave my house go to the practice or to the hospital and come back home and the only time um, I really do ever leave the house again is if I do need to get essentials like food or medication um, so please guys if we abide by the rules as far as we can and as much as possible then hopefully this will blow over sooner rather than later but if we don't abide by the rules then all of this is just extended and you know we just end up being more frustrated and the cabin fever is just going to sort of be out of hand and we won't be able to deal with it so if i can just ask everybody again please stay at home please stay safe um, please look after yourselves and your loved ones and um, if there's anything um, you guys can drop me an inbox or whatever it is and i will be able to help as best as i can you know on social media if you have questions for me um, feel free to ask me but yeah i hope that everybody's keeping safe during this time and i hope that all your loved ones are fine and are keeping safe as well from me to you guys love and light take care